Welcome back to Betting Your Host, Cynthia Thompson. Did you know that there's an organization here in Charlotte that will help people that are fighting drugs and alcohol? The name of that program is the Charlotte Rescue Mission. And today my guest is Ed Boyce, and he's going to tell us all about the different programs that they have to offer. Thank you for joining me today, Ed. Thank you for having me. So, what exactly is the Charlotte Rescue Mission? Well, uh, Charlotte Rescue Mission is a Christian-based uh, Drug Recovery Center for Homeless Addicted Men and Women uh -huh. here in Charlotte. Uh, excuse me, we uh, uh, help men and women from throughout the Charlotte area in the in the region. Uh, they're referred to us uh, either through the court system or they call themselves to get enrolled into the program. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, usually 90 days. Mm -hmm. uh, some may take longer, mm -hmm. but uh, usually after 90 days, we uh, the residents gr graduate from the program mm -hmm. and we then help them get reacclimated uh -huh. to the city and uh, once again becoming uh, 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 good members of the of society. You know, let's back up just a little bit. Let's tell our viewers about a little bit about a history about the Charlotte Rescue Mission. When was it founded? It was founded back in 1938. Uh-huh. Uh, the, actually, it was started by a group of Charlotte businessmen. Uh-huh. Uh, one of them was uh, the father of uh, uh, evangelist uh, Billy Graham. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. So it, it started uh, in the current location that is, is in now off, off, uh, on First Street, mm -hmm. off of Cedar Street in Uptown. Mm-hmm. So the mission for the Charlotte Rescue Mission is spiritual, mental, physical, social, and vocational. That's quite a lot. So you all go through all of these whenever you assist people with getting rid of an addiction that they may have? Yes. Uh, all of those uh, different areas are what we feel is part of the necessary uh, tools uh, for recovery. Mm -hmm. And it's all based on, uh, it's all through a Christian base. So mm -hmm. just the, uh, you know, the aspect of, of religion is uh, inter intertwined in the mm -hmm. entire recovery program. Now you mentioned where it was located. Where is it located again? It's on, well, the main office, offices and the Rebound Men's Program is on First Street. Mm -hmm. uh, that's off Cedar Street. Mm -hmm. uh, across the street from the Carolina Panthers mm -hmm. practice fields. Ah, so addish, addiction, what exactly does that mean for my viewers that may or may not know? Well, uh, it's, it's uh, having a chemical dependency on, on drugs and alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, at least that's uh, what our residents are, are going through mm -hmm. when they come to the program. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, it's, uh, these people are are reaching out for help. Mm -hmm. uh, they know they have a problem. Uh, you know they want their old life back. They mm -hmm. they they've seen how uh, their addiction to drugs and alcohol has affected them, mm -hmm. as well as their families. Mm -hmm. And you know uh, most of the time, most of the people who make that call to the Charlotte Rescue Mission are you know really seeking help. They've um, you know hit rock bottom or they've finally seen the light, you know, that they need to do something to turn their lives around. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to take a short break and when we come back we're going to talk about your treatment program for people that want to kick that bad habit, okay? Okay. I'm home and I love it. I'm home, I'm home where I belong. It's always nice to come home. But many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable from the U.S. government has already helped over a million struggling homeowners like these. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home, I'm home, where I belong. Ready to go? Yeah, but the fire's not out. It's close enough. Huh. Close enough? If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. I mean, the next thing you know, you've tortured our whole neighborhood. Which is why 
We're not going anywhere? Exactly. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Explore new worlds. Read. Visit literacy.gov and let the journey begin. Welcome back to Better Your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Ed, and we were talking about the Charlotte Rescue Mission. And before we went on break, I said we we're going to talk about their treatment plan for helping people rid themselves of whatever addiction that they may have. So what is a treatment plan? Well, it's a 90-day it's a program. Mm -hmm. uh, it involves our recovery, uh, drug counseling, Mm -hmm. And most of it is done in-house at, mm -hmm. at uh, either the rebound facility or the Dove's Nest. Mm -hmm. And we also work with uh, uh, local uh, substance abuse uh, agencies and counselors throughout the city. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the residents, uh, they have their counseling at the rescue mission as well as they uh, attend uh, Alcoholics Anonymous meetings mm -hmm. and other uh, drug uh, recovery uh, meetings throughout the city mm -hmm. outside the program. You've mentioned two different places, Rebound and Dove's Nest. Let's talk about Rebound. What What is that and what do you do there? Well, Rebound is our men's program, our mm -hmm. men, men's uh, drug recovery program. And it's housed in the same building as the main offices on First Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's uh, 120 beds for you know 120 men. 90-day uh, program and everything we do at Rebound we also do at uh, Dove's Nest. So you said 120 beds so the men stay there the yeah. entire 90 days? Yes. They can't leave? Well once they go through uh, the first two months of the program uh, they're allowed to go off campus for uh, family visits, mm -hmm. uh, jobs, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Um, but during that first two months, you know, they're pretty much restricted to the program mm -hmm. and because uh, that's, you know, the, the main part of the time where the, uh, the, the counseling is taking place. Mm. So Dove's Nest, is Dove's Nest for men and women? Dove's Nest is our women's facility. Ah. Uh, it, it's uh, not as old as the uh, rebound program. It, it actually started in 1992. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in a. It was uh, located in a small 12-bed uh, home in uh, in Dilworth, mm -hmm. and we just this year uh, opened a brand new 120-bed uh, facility off West Boulevard. Huh. So it's uh, it's for women and their children uh, so they uh, won't the family won't uh, be broken up as mm -hmm. uh, the women are seeking uh, counseling. So you counsel the women do you offer counseling to the children also? Now the, the children uh, they're not involved in the counseling okay. uh, it's mostly focus on their mothers mm -hmm. uh, we do have programs for the children as uh, you know, as far as uh, sort of keeping them, uh, should I say, distracted or, you know, keeping them focused on being a kid as their, their parents are, uh, mm -hmm. are going through the program. Mm -hmm. So uh, you do or don't offer, like, if, if a mother is going through this program, surely this affects their child. You don't offer individually counseling for the children. And so, what's going on with their mother? That uh, yes, we well, we we uh, have counselors who uh, talk to the children um, as far as what's going on while mm -hmm. they're you know why they're uh, at the facility. Uh, but m most of uh, the more family counseling aspect mm -hmm. of it is uh, done off campus. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
Um, part of your mission, you offer vocational too. Do you offer job training and that sort of thing at both locations? Yes, we offer job training, um, <clears throat> uh, help with uh, resumes, computer skills. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we also uh, have a halfway house for you know the people who've gone through the program and just trying to get back uh, back in society. Uh, we also offer. Uh, jobs within the rescue mission for huh. residents who've graduated the program. Mm -hmm. So usually various spots uh, within the rescue mission uh, we we like to offer to residents we feel that can fill those roles and do a good job. And so um, when they finish the program you mentioned a halfway house. Do you have two separate ones? One for men, one for women? Uh, well, we just have the one halfway house for uh -huh. the men, which is right next to the current rebound location. Oh, I see. So if something were to happen, they could go back to your rebound location. Do you by chance know if you have men and women that have to come back for the treatment more than once? Like when they go through the 90 days, are they done or do they sometimes have to come back? Well. Uh, yes, uh, you know we have a really good uh, completion rate, mm -hmm. uh, it's near seventy percent. Hmm. But of course, you know uh, some people are going to relapse once they mm -hmm. get back, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in their old neighborhoods and back mm -hmm. around uh, some of the pa same people who uh, influenced them from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we we do have uh, people who come back through the program mm -hmm. uh, from time to time. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk about your volunteers they help you and how my viewers could maybe volunteer and help out there. Okay. Okay? Sure. Hey, Luis, did you know that you're Elmo's plan? Your plan? Yeah, Elmo's mommy said that if Elmo is too sick to go to school, the plan is that Elmo stays with Luis and Maria. Oh, yes, we have that plan all in oh, place. Oh, great. <laughs> You never know when your child will be too sick to go to school. So have a plan ready so your child can stay home and get healthy. Luis is the man because he's almost planned. The man because he's almost planned. <laughs> to learn more about preventing flu, visit flu.gov. I'm home. It's always nice to come home, but many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable from the U.S. government has already helped over a million struggling homeowners like these. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home, I'm home, where I belong. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Absolutely. How do I change the ringtone? Just hook it up to your computer. Does it have a camera? What's the warranty? Does it come in silver? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Does it have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack? You sell a lot of these? It's the one I carry. You ever get those phantom vibrations in your pocket? Any questions? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. And welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Ed with Charlotte Rescue Mission. And before we went on break, um, I said that we were going to talk about volunteer opportunities. I take it that you have to have volunteers to help you with this because this sounds like a tremendous program where you can't do it just a few people on your staff. Is that so? Definitely. Our volunteers are a major part of what we do mm -hmm. at, the, at the Rescue Mission. Uh, volunteers, we have volunteers come in doing all types of jobs, uh, whether it's uh, uh, helping to prepare or serve the meals to the residents, uh -huh. um, just uh, doing projects around the rescue mission as uh -huh. far as painting and 
uh, light construction projects, mm -hmm. and also office work uh, from, <clears throat> excuse me, just regular paperwork to calling the donors uh, mm -hmm. for, uh, to say thank you for, for their donation. Mm -hmm. So what's the process? If I wanted to come in and volunteer my time for the rescue mission, what would I need to do? Uh, well, first you just have to get in contact with our volunteer coordinator. Uh, that's usually a, a phone call or, mm -hmm. or email. And before you can actually start volunteering, uh, we like to have all our potential volunteers go through orientation. Mm -hmm. And we usually have those uh, about uh, four times a month. Mm -hmm. uh, once you go through the orientation, it pretty much involves uh, just taking a tour of the facilities and um, reading up on the, the things we do at the rescue mission, watching the video. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, we'll put you to work in, you know, the areas that you, we feel that, uh, or they feel that they can uh, best contribute. You said that your volunteers prepare and serve meals. Do they do this during the holidays too? It's during the holidays uh, or, uh, you know, 365 days a year. Well, yeah, because you have uh, to eat every day. Right. <laughs> Um, but uh, the holidays are are real big for us, especially mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Um, it's usually a waiting list to uh, volunteer on that day because so really? many people are uh, want to volunteer on Thanksgiving and or Christmas, mm -hmm. um, and that pretty much involves uh, you know serving the meal and also uh, we have uh, cell phone stations where. Uh, volunteers will man those stations where uh, the people who come in for the uh, for the community meal mm -hmm. can use one of uh, the many cell phones to call home. Mm -hmm. uh, those days are not just for the residents at Charlotte Rescue Mission, it's the entire community uh, is invited oh, okay. to partake. So anyone could come and have a meal on Christmas or Thanksgiving. Right, or holidays. Easter. Or Easter. Mm -hmm. So um, if a person wanted to help out, but they don't really have time to, to help there. Do you have a wish list for donations, for things that you need? Because I'm sure you need stuff in order to make this run. What are some things that you need? Well, we, we're always looking for monetary donations. Of course. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we, do, we do have a wish, uh, needs list uh -huh. on our website. Uh, it's various items from uh, clothes, to office supplies, uh, bedding, uh, just you know everything that uh, the residents will need to get through mm -hmm. the program. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned your website, and what is your website? Because I don't want to forget to ask that, so let me just ask you right now. It is uh, www.charlotterescuemission.org. And your phone number there? It is 704-334-4635. So tell me, Ed, we've been talking about all the good things that the Charlotte Rescue Mission is doing for our community. Why did you decide to be a part of this? Well, I started out as a volunteer, ah. uh, working out, working in the office, uh, processing the mail. Uh -huh. uh, um, and that eventually grew to uh, a data entry job mm -hmm. that became open in the, in the rescue mission. And <clears throat> uh, earlier this year, uh, the multimedia coordinator position opened up, and I um, had a media background, so mm -hmm. they offered me the job, and I've been there, been doing that ever since. Hmm. So you started out as a volunteer. What were some things you were doing as a volunteer? Uh, just helping out in, in the development office, uh, mm -hmm. helping with the mail, uh, opening the mail, uh, processing the, the, the checks and the donations. Um, and also handling uh, various calls from time mm -hmm. to time. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you one more question before we close. Can you share with us a success story of one of the people that may have come through the rescue mission program and what they're doing now? Let's see. Um, well, uh, there's a, one, one person that comes to mind. Uh, we just uh, featured him in our newsletter, mm -hmm. uh, a guy named Sonny. He, uh, Four years ago, you know, he's addicted to drugs and alcohol. Um, he had been evicted mm -hmm. from his home, and he was thinking about uh, taking his own life. Mm -hmm. And until he, you know, 
finally decided to uh, take control and and wanted to turn things around. So he called various centers throughout the, the Charlotte region. Mm -hmm. uh, and our one of our counselors at the rescue mission called him back and, you know, he came through the program, uh, graduated. Uh, and now he he uh, he also he once he was out of the program, he you know was working working again. He applied for uh, a home through the Habitat for Humanity. Oh really? Uh, yeah, re uh, revitalization program mm -hmm. where they uh, fix up uh, foreclosed and abandoned homes. So he applied for that program, was able to be awarded a home. So he's he's living there now, making regular payments on a home. So he's doing really well. He's you know he went from being homeless and wanting to commit suicide to mm -hmm. now uh, doing well, drug free. Mm. Uh, he's a homeowner and he's also the president of his homeowners association. Whoa! Yeah. So he really did a total turnaround with his life Definitely. through your program, right? You know, Ed, I want to thank you so much for being a part of my show today. I've learned so much about what you did. And I've always wondered, what is the Charlotte Rescue Mission? But now I see that you rescue people from a dark place so that they can go on like Sunny and have a full life. And thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you for having me. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching The Better You here on Public Access 21 every week, Wednesday night at 6 p.m.